Hey, what's up everyone? Paul from Great House Funhouse. Last night, I was at the world premiere of Eight Eyes at the Fantasia Film Festival. This is the first in-house production from Vinegar Syndrome. They're putting their Blu-ray money to good use by uh, investing in new filmmakers. I'd say they chose well here with director and co-writer Austin Jennings, whose uh, other job is to direct episodes of The Last Drive-In with Joe Bob Briggs. And I say they chose well because he definitely brought it with his feature film debut. The movie is about a couple having problems in their marriage who decides to go on vacation in Serbia to help things out. And being such spontaneous people that they are, uh, they crash a wedding party which costs them dearly because they meet St. Peter who wore himself into their lives by offering them to be their guide, showing his country around and uh, wanting them to have a good time. But he's got ulterior motives and that's when shit gets real sinister. This was shot entirely in Serbia and Macedonia, and those locations definitely give it a vibe, I'll call it that. Uh, also, it was shot on 16mm film, which adds this extra layer of grittiness. For the first half of the movie, it's pretty much the couple played by Emily Sweet, who plays Cass, and her husband Gav, played by Bradford Thomas, who encounters St. Peter, played by Bruno Veljavnoski, a local Serbian actor. First role in the movie, convincing as hell as the bad guy. Uh, you get the vibe right away that there's something not quite right with him. Cass feels the uh, the creepiness as well, but Gab seems into it, which will put that in future danger. In fact, something happens to Gab and it's up to Cass to uh, figure out what that is. Most of the movie, you're just trying to figure out why St. Peter is so focused on them. What's his end goal and how fucked up it's going to be. Pretty fucked up. There's a little bit of the movie Hostel in here where, you know, American tourists going to a foreign country, not doing any research on where they're going, just showing up and uh, living it up as if they were still in America. You know, different people with different customs and rituals and not know how to properly deal with those. Uh, also not knowing the language that puts them at a disadvantage and feeling trapped. Other influences I can think of, uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, where uh, there's family members of St. Peter that they get to meet, where uh, you definitely know where that's gonna go. There's even a hint at video drone, which involves a VHS tape. Throw in some supernatural elements in that 70s, early 80s exploitation horror movies too, and you have a fine exploitation movie throwback. Uh, Morricone Youth, who does the score perfectly, adds to that throwback mood. A great score uh, that arcs back to the 70s. There's also really cool in-camera animation done towards the end of the movie that uh, adds another great retro touch to the proceedings. They're not afraid to go full gore on this one. Uh, a mallet is used to uh, smash heads and an eye is removed from its sockets and uh, shown to us. That's just to give you a taste. Another thing I would add is that if you're into naked fat guys that just walks around with his willy flapping in the breeze, who wears a wax max, then hey, you're in for a treat. It's basically a fight for survival movie in which lead actress Emily Sweet, who plays Cass, handles herself quite well in those situations against these brutes, these monsters. Uh, no release date as of yet. I don't know if it's gonna get a theatrical release or just a Blu-ray 4K release through uh, Vinegar Syndrome. I'll definitely follow up on it and give that information through my socials. But if you have a genre film festival coming up in your neck of the woods, and uh, you see Eight Eyes on the schedule, I'd say definitely give it a shot. So that is it for my review of Eight Eyes. Go visit all my socials at Grand House Funhouse in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts on Eight Eyes when you do get to see it and what is your favorite recent Vinegar Syndrome release. Let's get that discussion going. More exploitation and horror movie reviews coming up soon, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching and I'll say to you, ciao bye for now.